I hope this reaches you in good health, sir. I'm trying to get in touch with the Marine uh, who served in World War II. My name is Rishi Sharma. I'm 22 years old. And ever since I was in high school, I've been on a mission to meet and film interview as many World War II combat veterans of the allied countries as possible. How are you, Mr. Kelliger? Good, tip top, thank you. Nice to see you. I've had the honor of interviewing just over 1,100 World War II veterans across 45 states, Canada, the United Kingdom, Australia, and New Zealand. I put it on a DVD and I, I mail it to them for free. Um, I created a nonprofit organization called Heroes of the Second World War, and I was very blessed that when I first uh, started the organization, we got some national news coverage, which allowed me to uh, receive funding from uh, private donors and oral history uh, institutions as well, uh, allowing me to go and conduct these interviews full time. Was it 43 or 44? I started right after D-Day mm. in June. Got it. Where are you? Right there. I first started uh, interviewing World War II veterans by riding my bike to the local retirement home near my high school. And uh, the director of the retirement home was so excited to see a young person there that he uh, took me room to room and introduced me personally to each World War II veteran. And I would set up appointments with them. And uh, every day after school, I would come and I would interview them with a, a little camera. Uh, that I got, it was just really cool to be able to spend time and, and learn from these men. I mean, it was, uh, they're the coolest people in the world. They all came with their uh, bayonets and the guy closest to me, all he had to do is raise his gun, uh, yeah, raise his gun, then shove. And he missed it by a half a step. Maybe if I'd been a half a step closer, he might've won. But all I had to do is just twist my body and my rifle was already in his chest. And I just pulled the trigger. The light went out of his eyes before he hit the ground. Uh, and when people thank me for my service, that's what I recall. Uh, those are not pleasant memories at all. War is hell, and I mean hell. I wouldn't want to go through another one. What your life could have been without the war, or what it might have been. But at the same time, war gave me a chance to meet the girl I married. And I wouldn't have met her under any other circumstance in all probability. And we had 70 wonderful years together. And if for no other reason, the war was worth it. Because she made my life complete. I had the honor of interviewing one man who uh, was with his twin brother. Uh, they both earned the Silver Star, which is the third highest award for valor, for knocking out some enemy emplacements. But a few weeks later, as they were running across a, a field, uh, one of the brothers was hit by a sniper bullet uh, and killed. He actually died in his twin's arms. and to. To hear how it affected this man, you know, he went from being uh, a Catholic, a good Catholic boy, uh, to after his twin's death, wanting nothing to do with religion, but eventually finding his way back and becoming one of mo the most devout and honorable men I I I've ever uh, had the honor of meeting. And it was just amazing to see you know, how he was able to overcome that, such a traumatic event. If a Civil War veteran suddenly came up from the grave, all the world's media would be hounding him, on their knees, begging for five minutes of his time using the nicest cameras and the fanciest equipment. And what boggles my mind is that we have this opportunity with the World War II veterans, who are arguably way cooler than any Civil War veteran, and yet it seems that people are more concerned about what the Kardashians are wearing and not what the men and women who saved the world from evil, you know, what they went through. So today I'm picking up some of these World War II vets and we're taking them over to 
a surprise party. It's just the most gratifying experience for me to be able to look someone in their eyes, someone who I believe in my heart of hearts has saved my life and the lives of millions and millions and millions of others. I, I urge anyone watching this to please take the time to go into a retirement community, to talk to your grandfather, your elderly neighbor, and, and to be able to listen to them and thank them and, and to know that I'm, I'm helping preserve their story uh, so that they won't ever be forgotten.